कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टेप बाय स्टेप ए टू जेड इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग अमृता हियर इज द ब्रांच अवेलेबल इन ऑल द कैंपस यू कैन चेक फॉर एपी एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया स्टूडेंट शुड बोर्न ऑन और आफ्टर फर्स्ट जुलाई फ्रेंड दिस इज अमित एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू द कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टेप बाय स्टेप ए टू जेड इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग अमृता complete counseling process for btech counseling that is centralized seat allotment process 2024 csab 2024 as you also know this year they are doing a little bit of nonsense you can say before result they are providing you the registration link and choice filling how it is possible in order to take money how you will do this type of nonsense with the student because without the result or rank how the student will provide the preference of list how they will know what are the chances for the college so this is complete nonsense but nothing can be done if you want based on first uh, attempt result or based on j result or on the expectation of marks what you are getting in second attempt i can provide you the uh, preference list and accordingly you can fill and later after the rank we can change that also because up to 13 you can do that and after the trial allotment you will have the chances to change it again after the first allotment you will not able to change after the first allotment that is uh, you will able to change but there will be first allotment done so before first allotment you have to make the final preference list based on the rank and based on the expectation based on the slabs so for everything i will guide you completely once you register with my guidance but let me complete the detail here that is a to z information so here is the branch available in all the campus uh, you can check for ap that is amravati there is three branch available csc ccii and computer and communication engineering there after another options is there for bangalore amrita puri uh, kamitor and chennai and there after there is one more campus fbd that is faridabad and there is nagar coil so faridabad there is only one choice that is artificial intelligence data science medical engineering aidm this is a new campus added and uh, there is nagar coil campus that is subjected to aict approval so here you can check the detail of branch that are available wherever you will check the tick maximum branch is available in coimbatore campus and let me inform you if you are from home state of any college that is coimbatore campus for tamil nadu 50% seat will be reserved similar for chennai tamil nadu again 50% seat reserved for amrita um, puri there is 50% seat for kerala state for bangalore 50% seat for karnataka similarly for ap 50% seat for andhra pradesh so this type of thing is there eligibility criteria student should born on or after 1st july 2003 up to 30th of june 2008 educational qualification 60% aggregate of marks in math physics and chemistry with not less than 50% in each of these these three average should be 60 but in any one if you have 56 57 that will also work because 55 is the minimum required subject wise so here you can check selection process is allotment of seat will be done 70% based on a triple e 30% based on j mains and annual fee structure also you can check on the website or uh, on the screen i am showing you through a, a separate slide you can check and uh, uh, once you uh, get any slab slab 1 2 3 to continue that slab to sustain that slab you need to have some cgpa here is the term and condition regarding that you can check to consistent academic performance by securing a cumulative grade point average that is cgpa of category 1 8 and above if you are getting slab 1 then 8 and above you have to maintain and once you not maintain 8 and above once you go for slab 1 to slab 2 uh, then all four years you will have to pay slab 2 fee and category 2 if you get slab 2 then 7.5 and above in case of secondary slab that is scholarship slab 2 at the end of each academic year and there should be no any type of claim on you on the campus once they will claim anything wrong for you wrong activity if you will be indulged in any wrong activity they can demote your slab also from 1 to 2 and you will have to pay higher fee uh, failing to meet the four set condition 1 to 3 the candidate will be required to pay slab 3 fee in the subsequent year once you not maintain 8 you have to go to the directly slab 3 and here you can check category 1 if slab 1 student cgpa 8 and above the same fee will be continue for every year if his cgpa is between 7.5 to 8 he or she will be eligible for slab 2 that is if you will score 7.5 to 8 then you will have to pay slab 2 fee and similarly if you will score below 7.5 then you need to go to slab 3 fee in subsequent year slab 2 student if you score above 7.5 then same fee will be continue for next year even if you will score 9 cgpa you can't go for slab 1 whatever slab you will get now you can go to higher slab only you can't get into the lower slab this is the statement they are saying and if you score 7.5 or less then slab 3 and here is the detail about the fee you can check complete information highest fee 6 lakh for coimbatore campus 
and for Amritapuri also 6 lakh and Bangalore also 6 lakh that is regular fee non scholarship category and for a scholarship slab 3 4 lakh and for slab 1 only 1.5 lakh for top 3 campus Amritapuri, Bangalore, Coimbra that is I am talking about uh, CSE, Cyber Security, AI, this type of branch AI data science and let me inform you slab 1 have only 10% slab 2 have only 20% seats slab 3 have again 20% seat and 50% seats are in regular fee so maximum seat will be given in regular fee only so be careful while doing the choice filling you have to make it very correctly and carefully otherwise you may get into the higher fee slab and you will have to pay more fee here you can check for other branches also the uh, slab fee that is slab wise fee is available and uh, branch name that is complete abbreviation name here you can check and uh, now let me discuss the CSAP process registration first of all you need to register with your registered email and uh, there after 12th mark sheet you need to provide enter JS score submit academic preferences and this is very important if you do any type of wrong preferences that will have direct effect on your allotment so be very careful that's why i'm here to guide you completely whenever you want you can contact me there is a very nominal charge for that but it will ensure that you will get the best out of your rank and not only in a triple but in other counseling also and later i will compare whether you should join amrita or bitset or vit or comment k colleges or kset colleges everything i will be discussing with you so that you can get into the best possible college by the end of this academic year and with also best possible branch so now here i would like to inform you about my complete guidance and mentorship regarding all type of entrance exam through this you will choose the best college and best branch as i am guiding the student from last six years yes so over 10,000 students already have guided whenever you want and whatever counseling you are doing i will guide you for everything that is the dosa csab jack delhi jack Chandigarh, manipal vit vitset comet k a triple e or any other state level counseling i will be guiding you for all the counseling as i'm doing it from last six years sideways you can check the detail as well and once you register you will get one to one personal call option all the time and message you can do whenever you want whenever you will have the doubt here i will provide you the personalized choice filling order for you because every student have different type of rank different type of visa and different type of interest different type of family background so there can't be a general choice filling for all the students so i will provide you the personalized choice filling order Friend on the screen you can check the detail in the description also once you contact if you find my guidance helpful you can register for that by doing the nominal payment regarding that and by sending a branch now if you talk about the other thing for SCST content are required to specify and upload the relevant community certificate in the CSAB portal the community certificate should be in English if the community certificate is in a language other than English an English version of certified by notary public should be uploaded you have to provide a certified English version of the same and uh, email to this for any type of problem if you have problem then btech at the rate amrita.edu you need to mail and the registration fee is 5000 and is non-refundable if candidate is offered an admission into the allotment round of csap once you get any type of seat you will not get the refund because if you will not take the seat and not join the college they will not refund fee is refundable only if the preference is submitted even in the last round of csap and the strength is not getting any type of allotment then in that case you will get the refund registration fee will not be refunded if a candidate is not exercising the option once you pay and not apply anything then also they will not refund you anything and uh, all the refund will be possible after the final allotment only registration doesn't guarantee a seat or admission because it depends totally on your rank and based on the preferences a candidate shall enter at least one academic preference. A candidate can submit maximum number of 48 academic preference. 7 campus, 16 branches, total 48 academic preference. So there is no minimum maximum. You can put all the choices. You can put any one choices also. So this type of thing is there. Complete information. Allotment process. First of all, there will be a trial allotment. That is nothing but just to provide you the intimation that what you can get best on your feet, uh, feeling that is the choice feeling in first round. Because in upcoming round, the decision making will be done. Many students will left the seat. So that's why the cutoff will change. But if there will be five trial allotment, if you will not change anything in the choice feeling, you will get same allotment in everything. But in real allotment, even if you will not change the choices in different allotment, you will get different type of seat allotment so this is the difference between trial allotment and real allotment in real allotment cutoff changes because a student will be out of the counseling process due to non-payment but in trial allotment every student will get the seat whoever will provide the choice filling and registration so provision to change the academic preferences will be closed within one day of the publication of trial allotment so after trial allotment also if you think that my choices are not correct then you can change it and at that time also i will guide you once you register with my guidance 
and thereafter two allotment that is first and second allotment will be done thereafter successive allotment will also be done once the vacancy will be available and uh, here you can check after first allotment you need to pay one lakh and accept the remaining fee uh, and caution deposit on or before the specified date and thereafter candidate allotted any one of their academic preferences in the fee slab one for example a candidate is allotted fifth academic preferences with the lowest fee and slab and is satisfied with the academic preference there are two options for this candidate option one such candidate if satisfied with the allotment may accept the admission offer by, by paying one lakh and confirm the seat and this is called accept and confirm and there is another option that is accept and upgrade upgradation there are two three type of upgradation you want to upgrade your slab you want to upgrade your preferences no matter any slab i will take other option is i want to upgrade but with less fee slab and also better branch so this type of option will be there and what are the best option for you that i will be discussing once you register with my guidance because i will know your expectation your rank and what you want to achieve without knowing there can't be a general decision making for everyone so that's why decision making is very important and here you can check other information also candidate allotted any one of their academic preference in any slab you can do such may opt for upgrade to higher academic preference or upgrade within the allotted branch itself to a lower fee slab means same branch you want but fees should be less this type of thing also you can do so three type of option is there accept and confirm that is nothing but freeze accept and upgrade but accept and confirm that is whatever you have got you are satisfied with the fee slab but if you are not satisfied then you can do accept and upgrade and that is in case of fee slab but in third category also that is here you can check candidate allotted any one of their academic preference whatever you will get but if you want you can do accept and upgrade in that case also and uh, here is the three option in upgrade if you want to do upgrade there is three type of option as i informed you earlier if you want to get into higher preference without any fee restriction any slab you will take but you want better branch and here is move to higher academic preference by choosing the maximum affordable fee slab means up to which you want to get means if you have got slab 3 then in the, the same slab you want to get better branch move to higher academic preference within the currently allotted fee that's what i explained now some fee slab also you can ensure that is up to slab 3 only i can go second option is saying the same and uh, fourth option move to lower fee slab without moving to higher preference I mean the same branch you want but with lower fee slab this is how you need to do the decision making second allotment will be done those who have opted for upgrade and those who have registered for the first time in csap those who we are not allotted any academic preference in the first allotment so this type of student will be eligible for second uh, round and uh, there will be third and subsequent round also if there will be subsequent number of seat will be available and all those students who will not get any seat in first allotment they can change their preferences as well here you can check the detail and uh, here is the detail regarding the procedure and important dates 28th may registration as i informed you 38th declaration of triple e rank and 8th june trial allotment closing uh, that is registration and choice filling you can say 13th june for first allotment after 13th they, they will not consider it for the first allotment and closing of trial allotment 14th 16th first round allotment 17th registration open for second round if you haven't registered earlier you can register that time also and 22nd june last day to pay the initial tuition fee of 1 lakh for those candidate who have got the seat in first lot if you will not pay you will be out of the counseling process it is as simple as that and for 22nd of june closing of csap registration and that is from 17th to 22nd you can do the registration for second allotment that is csap registration you can do if you haven't done the registration earlier as a new student and uh, if you will get the seat in first round and you will not pay the fee and if you want to register again that is not possible and on 25th second allotment will be done 6 july last day to pay the remaining fee last day to pay the full fee for those who got the allotment in the second round and uh, 31st July CSAP registration open for new registration for third and subsequent round only if there vacancy that is not sure but I am sure there will be lots of seat particularly in mechanical civil this type of branches will be available in CSE also because many students will take the seat and later they will take the refund because the refund policy is available so here you can check the complete information activity accept and upgrade what does this mean and how much amount you need to pay everything I have already explained earlier so this type of thing will be done and refund policy refund will be done according to UGC AICTE approval and uh, that is based on the norms of UGC and AICTE and refund will be a factor only after final allotment so after third round they will provide you refund before that that is not possible and refund policy is published on our website all refund process will be online as per a 
guidelines so i will provide you detail regarding that in my separate video so this was the complete information regarding amrita counseling process of 2024 hope you find this information useful please try to subscribe the channel and if you want my guidance kindly contact me through insta whatsapp or through app and website also that is available in description box thank you